Okay, what's up everyone? This is Lot of Sweetness 2011, and today I have a, I guess you could say an easy GIMP how-to tutorial. Um, what I want, this video is basically a video showing you how to, um, let's say for instance that you want to keep this, this rose, the actual pink and white uh, petals on this rose, and everything else around it black and white. Uh, this that's what pretty much this video is going to show you how to do so I'll go ahead and get started let's say for instance that you already have an image that you want to do this to uh, and it's in your layer dialog box like so what you want to do is duplicate that image or duplicate that layer and in this duplicated layer what you want to do is go right click that layer and go to alpha to selection then what you want to do is click your free select tool you can use your paths tool um, that's just basically up to you uh, whichever one you feel comfortable with then have at it you know so but the free select tool is one I feel real comfortable with anyway so once you click your free select tool or whichever uh, click feathered edges and um, the radius for the feathered edges for this image is 6.1 now that can vary depending on the size of your image and everything else so but this works for me um, so after doing that after checking feathered edges and the radius done the way you want it just make a selection around through here by clicking around the edge of the part of the image that you want to keep the color for just like so and once I get through doing this, I'll get right back on here and I'll finish the tutorial. Okay, now let's say for instance that you have already finished uh, selecting the area that you want to keep and close that selected area in to where you see these alpha to selection lines flashing or following each other like cats and dogs. But anyway, uh, now what you want to do with that being finished go to select invert and then now we're going to change everything else around it to black and white so what you want to do is go to colors brightness and contrast or excuse me back out of that that's not what you need to do go to colors uh, desaturate sorry about that and you can change it to any of these settings that you want um, it doesn't really matter uh, so after you have that just press OK and now I want to add a little more contrast to this to darken it up just a little bit and turn the light lighting down on it on the actual black and white part of the image so without going to select none to get rid of these lines I'm going to go to colors brightness and contrast now <laughs> and turn the brightness down just a little bit like you see here and then the contrast up and then press OK and then go to select select none and there you go that's pretty much how you create this look in GIMP um, and before I get off here, uh, I want to say a few things. Uh, if you have any ideas for uh, future videos for my channel, or any ideas that you need help on, uh, then I'll be more than glad to help you. Just leave a comment in, the, in my channel, and I'll try to get to it as quick as I can. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and thanks for subscribing to my channel. Peace out.